the way you guys have it set up. So as we can see, the center shaft here is staying still. When it comes around, oh, it actually got caught in there. I'm gonna hold it so I could pass this. And I want you to see this little piece here. So this one's gonna catch just like we we were talking about. So right there it catches. But if I go uh, counterclockwise, it's not gonna pull on it. If I go backwards, of course it grabs it. And so if I keep turning, coming back here, this part, the little wedge piece, is not going inside the slot here, okay? So continuing on, same thing, but I can go backwards until it gets to that piece. Once it gets that piece, it grabs on. Okay, so now what I wanna do is, just so you could see this, I'm gonna actually engage, this, engage the safety system. So I'm gonna keep this piece here, this here, it's off to the side a little bit. Now I'm gonna hold the button down on the base of the machine, hold it tight, and now I'm gonna turn the wheel uh, clockwise. So I'm gonna turn it clockwise away from me. And once my finger goes down in, which I just felt it now, my finger went in, so now the shaft should stop, and now this piece, I'm gonna turn it ever so slightly, is gonna click back in. If you're gonna watch it click in, okay? Now I let go. Now as you can see, that piece went right back into the wedge, all right? So now when I turn it, my machine is in time now. So you see the wedge there? So when I held that, the, uh, the safety button down, so your safety button more than likely is not in the correct position, okay? So if I do it, I'm gonna do it one more time just to show you. Hopefully my phone's not gonna ring. Let me pop this out. Okay, so I knocked it out of time one more time just to show you again, all right? Going forward, can't do anything, right? Now, if I go backwards, it grabs on, okay? And here again, this piece is not centered on the shaft. So same thing, I'm gonna hold the button on the base of the machine, hold it nice and tight, turn the wheel. Now, as soon as I turn it, it literally, my finger goes farther into the machine. Make sure that your finger is depressing on that button. Turn this, and you're going to feel some, pre some pressure and resistance. And we could see that piece clicking right back into place. Okay? And now we've got it in time. So hopefully this is going to help you guys get your machine back in time. And let me know how it goes. 